Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So, just a couple of days back, uh, Flipkart uh, and Amazon both uh, went with some uh, sale, and uh, I just uh, bought a Redmi 6 phone. I compared it with uh, Redmi Note Pro 9, but uh, due to some other positives I went for Redmi 6 so the package is right and what we are going to do in this video is cover the unboxing uh, as well as just uh, briefly touch upon few features because you will already find many videos available on YouTube on the detailed review so just some maybe some tweaks uh, tips and uh, tricks some tweaks but uh, let me first open it and then uh, we will see how the initial boot is what are the things that's available in the uh, packing so keep watching so during this review i'll also be uh, showing you a couple of uh, pics on how uh, i generally do these reviews what's the infrastructure uh, i have I basically uh, have a Sanyo uh, Handycam uh, where I can twist the screen on both sides which helps me in seeing what I am actually showing it to the audience. Uh, just a brief introduction on how I generally record these videos. So let's come to the point. Let's come to the point, let's do the unboxing. So uh, you have the label over here, so don't accept any deliveries from Flipkart, the label is stone. And there uh, is uh, a tape, an adhesive tape stuck over here. So I've just uh, bought, uh, brought a pair of scissors. Let me try to cut it open. Okay, done. Probably this is the toughest part. Just opening the box. Okay. So I'll just throw away the initial cutting and uh, it's uh, got the invoice. I'll keep it aside. There you go. That's the Redmi 6, bright yellow packing with uh, all the information uh, given on the packing as uh, well as various uh, other regulatory things in the sticker. So if uh, I read it out loudly, uh, it's got an in-display selfie 90 hertz smooth display 30 watt uh, flash charge 4300 mAh battery 64 megapixel quad camera ultra wide lens and uh, a mediatek helio g90 t uh, processor now some of the key things for which i went for it was the 90 hertz uh, display and uh, it, I heard it's got uh, good sound, it sounds much more stereophonic on this uh, phone. So now let us open this, it's got a, a very thin lamination of plastic here. And just tear it open. Okay. The seal is intact, so I'm more than happy to break open the seal. So, keeping done, just hold it over here and open it up. The initial impression was quite well while opening the pack because I found many phones uh, where uh, it's just sucked like a vacuum and it's difficult to open. So there you go. Hey, uh, welcome to the Realme family. So I, my wife wanted to use this Realme 3. So that's the reason I went for it. It's got this boot charge through which the charging happens pretty fast.
okay. there's a top cover where you have the welcome message so if I open this there's an indicator of the uh, tray the pin used to uh, I just forgot the name you have the pin ejector the ejector pin so that comes over here in the top cover where you have the welcome message and you also have a pretty good uh, cover that's uh, silicone cover that's come along with it then you have the different uh, manuals provided here so that was the first uh, box all yellow in cover a color quite bright and then it's the thing we have been waiting for the actual phone okay it's encased in a small plastic casing let's remove that there you go Comet white model which I have purchased basically uh, you will see that uh, if I just hold it against the light and I just move it here and there you will get that effect of the comet which is the trail the comet tail yeah there you see so there's a bluish white I, I wouldn't say it's a perfect white but white with some bluish tint in it and there you see that comet trail pretty interesting um, like the mi note 9 it does not uh, have a glass uh, body but a polycarbonate one but the finishing is pretty good uh, if you hold it it's quite smooth i haven't yet checked whether uh, it catches a lot of uh, whether it's a finger magnet or not and on the side while they say it's a polycarbonate but the finishing is pretty good uh, there's a silvery aluminium kind of uh, finishing given to it and you have the regulatory sticker provided over here and there is an in display uh, selfie camera so there you see okay that was our phone as such and now uh, we will open further in the box there's another layer if I remove this, uh, you have the fast realme the book 30 watt charger. This le uh, looks exactly like the mm -hmm. OnePlus 60 uh, because I heard uh, OnePlus, realme, then Vivo are all part of the same brand probably and that's why there are similarities in it but the main advantage having a realme uh, phone is that it has very less bloatware and whatever is there as part of the bloatware uh, many applications you can actually uninstall them so this was the 30 watt charger and uh, then you have the cable uh, let me remove the cover wrapping from the cable and see how long it is okay so uh, I'll just fold it and show it to you that's how much it is uh, it's probably one and half meter of cable so everything is white that uh, also looks pretty good so these days phone makers have actually switched from black to white which is an interesting change because things also look much better and it's also a good to use white goods from uh, uh, from heating perspective the greenhouse so they say use uh, white things okay there you have the charger and here you have the box the rest how it looks nothing more in it so this is all sealed okay 
so that uh, was pretty it uh, for the initial unboxing and uh, I will then continue with the next part of the session which is the initial boot so uh, I haven't yet uh, inserted the sim in it uh, I will just try to power on while they say that you need to uh, charge the phone before powering on but I have typically found phones to be pretty decently charged when they pack it for you and a few things to notice here is you on the left hand side you have uh, the sim tray with the notch over here the volume buttons and uh, uh, you have the fingerprint sensor this is pretty interesting which has started to appear in all new models so I think this is a fingerprint sensor plus uh, the power button and you have the speaker grills over here uh, sorry the earphone piece over here uh, for uh, calling and the speaker grills I understand that it's not stereo and uh, you also have uh, the headphone jack and the USB type C port so I think this is probably the fingerprint plus the power button. I haven't gone through much videos and power it, powering it on, but I will just try to press this and see whether it works. Yeah. So it works. So you have the Realme logo and it's just booting up from okay so you have the main screen that's come up and now I need to select the country so I just uh, sorry I, I need to select the language so I just select uh, English India. Let's search for it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So English United States, English Australia, English New Zealand, English United Kingdom. So there's uh, no English India like in Windows. So I select probably English United Kingdom and press next. Now it asks me to select the region. Region is India. And I press next. Then you have the terms of service which I just need to accept it. And now uh, it asks me to connect to the Wi-Fi router. But uh, I have Mac ID uh, filter set on my Wi-Fi router so I will have to first add that only once that's added I will be able to log in so let me add the Mac ID let me I think it is probably provided in one of the user manuals or the box uh, let me have a look at the box No, I couldn't. I could find the IMEA numbers, but uh, I uh, can't uh, find uh, the MAC ID. So I will probably have to just check a few other documents and then add the Wi Fi to this device. Uh, since I couldn't uh, find out a way to uh, find a MAC address without logging into the phone what I have done is I disabled MAC filtering on my phone and uh, I uh, could connect uh, to my Wi-Fi network uh, since this is a dual band phone it supports the 5G network so I have successfully connected to my 5G network so I then press uh, next uh, it says to configure the Wi-Fi assistant intelligently select the best network 
I don't think so. I need to configure that. Uh, clicking next, it brings on the screen for it checks for updates and it says copy apps and data. So I select next and uh, a backup from your Android phone. Use your old Android phone to copy data wirelessly. A backup from the cloud and an iPhone device. There are three options which are shown. Okay, I select a backup from an Android phone and uh, I am actually going to give this phone to my mom as a Christmas gift. So I am uh, going to enter her Google details. So it says open the Google app on your old device. Okay, uh, I don't have the phone currently with me, so I just select and find it. The Google icon. Okay. Uh, let me bring the old phone. I was so I have my old phone, the source phone ready. That is, uh, and Xiaomi Mi5 model. It's not Redmi uh, 5. It's Mi5 and uh, yeah let me open the google app in the old device as instructed okay i have opened the google app and i click on next keep the google app open say okay google set up my device okay Google app open, say OK Google and set up my device. That's the instruction it came with. Okay. So I just select. Set up my device. Set up my device. Okay. On my old phone it says getting started to set up your other device your phone's bluetooth will be turned on if not ready next okay so i have my old phone and also the new phone so this is the source and this is the destination and uh, it uh, gives me the shapes and I need to verify that it looks the same on both just to confirm that I am and on my old device I just click on next yeah and as soon as I complete that it says continue on your old device and it says copy to your new device the data okay I, se I select copy so it shows copying your account and it shows the same thing of copying your account and then it asks for the credentials the google credentials on my old device so i will just hide that i'll enter the password okay it again says continue on your old device and now if you see uh, you have copying your account that's what uh, appears over here and I just need to this process will probably take some time we will just uh, wait until then and continue our video from there so it now says choose what to restore uh, it will use 605 MB of 52 GB it's got apps, SMS, messages, device settings, Wi-Fi passwords, Google Calendar, contacts, photos. So this is what it says. I need to choose. So basically since I am moving uh, from my old phone and on the old phone it just says almost finished. So on my Realme 6 I just need to click on restore. 
and it will now or it it now shows restoring and there's a message of google services i just select accept for terms and conditions then it says turn on location i click agree Uh, some notifications on Google Assistant, which I just uh, need to accept it. So what's trending with the Google Assistant? And I just click Next. Access your Assistant with Voice Match. So the Voice Match is already set up uh, for my mom on her Google account. So I probably don't need to do the Voice Match again. So I just click on Skip. says adding the finishing touches and then tells me to set the screen lock so I can set the screen lock later because I don't want it to be set right now I just click later set a screen passcode to secure a phone so I again click later then a uh, few recommended settings about software update whether you want to do an auto update uh, every night so i select auto update overnight that's why selected by default click on next and then it tells me whether about importing data from my old phone i click select import data from my old phone clone statement it says clone statement so the clone state phone statement says clone phone is an app for migrating data from an existing phone to a new phone so i just click on agree allow clone phone to access photos allow select your own old phone type i select other android phone install clone phone on the old phone ok I need to select clone need to install the clone phone app on the old phone so let me install that from the play store I think probably it's not there uh, on the play store I need to download it from the link they have provided which is i.cloneFone.colorOS.com slash download let me check that so when I open that uh, link it basically downloaded an APK the clone phone downloader application on, a, on my MI5 phone so I just had to change the security settings to enable install from unknown sources and I installed that so let me open that so I have allowed device access to clone phone app and I don't know it's downloading something so I think it is probably again uh, installing some update it's installing an application called backup and restore so backup and restore is now installed on the own phone and that's also provided by realme i just open that app it asks to turn on usage access which i need to just click on settings and uh, i need to uh, apps with usage access so I need to just select backup and restore that's done ok So on backup and restore it again allow uh, request for some access. 
request the following permissions during use camera reach schedule okay just select allow allow backup and restore to take pictures and record video access to calendar manage phone calls access to contacts access to media access to sms access to devices location and i reach this screen finally after clicking lot uh, after providing lot of permission and on my uh, new phone which is the realme 6 i will have to just select on next and it shows use the old phone to scan the qr code so there, there is a qr code in place and I just need to scan so when I when I click on start cloning so I get a QR code scanner I just need to scan this QR code yes and it says connecting on both the phones and I just need to use the old phone okay and then it connects using the ad hoc wi-fi network back to back and i just need to click on start cloning so as soon as i click on start cloning you will see that the cloning has commenced from the mi5 phone to the realme 6 phone so this is going to take some time and it says 4 minutes left so we will wait for some time so I actually stopped the cloning because it was showing an estimated time of 7 hours so I rather thought that I will log into the Google account and restore uh, the contacts from there and Google photos, the photos and videos are anyway synced so I'll stop that I will now proceed further after the welcome screen I just click on get started so as soon I clicked on get started it has started to download uh, all my earlier applications through Google account itself this is now going to take some time and uh, once it's complete so it also shows finishing setup finish setting your new phone so I just click on that click on finish setup so it just tells me to uh, connect a sim card which i will do it after some time now uh, it's checking for updates once again and the assistant is ready to go oh okay i think that's it and we are at the home screen now it will restore uh, all the contacts uh, the google photos and uh, various other uh, standard google settings gmail will get configured uh, and then i will uh, install whatsapp and restore the backup messages i will also uh, restore uh, using uh, restore the sms messages which are there on my old phone so i don't use the default uh, uh, sms application uh, rather i use uh, this one let me open that and Pull it out for you. So it's called SMS organization uh, organizer. So you can back up uh, your uh, text messages to the cloud. So I guess that's it uh, for uh, this unboxing and a brief boot up review. Uh, I will go through uh, phone. Uh, I will check on the phone further and find out if there are any further tweaks to share. Thanks for being uh, with me on this video and hope uh, you decide on buying a real b6 later on uh, do share your uh, feedback if you have liked the video do give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you